Good morning, good morning. So today we read a fascinating passage in the Bible. Joseph has become the leader, the leader of the world's superpower, Egypt. First, we have the seven good years, the feast years, the plenty years, where everybody is living the good life. But now we enter into the famine years, and now the entire world is starving. Everybody in Egypt, and in fact, in the entire world, needs to come to Joseph in order to get food. This includes Joseph's brothers, the very brothers who 22 years earlier had sold Joseph into slavery. Now they come to him, and we read a fascinating line that goes like this. Joseph recognized his brothers, but his brothers did not recognize him. I'm looking through you. Where did you go? I thought I knew you. What did I know? You're looking different because you have changed. I'm looking at you. You're not the same. Of course, of course, Joseph's not the same. I mean, it's 22 years later. He now has a beard. He's wearing regal clothes and he's in the world of politics and economics not a shepherd like his brothers. You know, clothes and appearances is a fascinating and a recurring theme in the Bible. We see that Esau, that Jacob put on Esau's clothes. Tamar, she put on different clothes to seduce Yehuda. Potiphar's wife grabs Joseph's clothes and then accuses him and he winds up in jail. Even Adam and Eve, after they eat from the fruit, recognize that they are naked and they quickly try to cover themselves. Clothes. Clothes can deceive us. Appearances can betray us. They say that perception is reality, and certainly in many ways there's a lot of truth to that. But what we see can oftentimes fool us. Things aren't always what they appear to be. Ultimately, for truth, we need to listen, to listen to the voice that's deep inside of each and every one of us.